I found out on tour on a drive to Canada that South by Southwest was canceled. So your solo album came out January 31st. Were you able to do any um, record release events or your gallery shows? I know you have a lot planned around that. Honestly, I am lucky compared to a number of artists. I was able to do a few shows. March 1st was when it started, this West Coast tour. And I'd certainly heard about concerns regarding, you know, Washington State, where I was headed. And I found out on tour, on a drive to Canada, that South by Southwest was canceled, where I was supposed to play. So it was weird to have my trip while I was on tour be so up in the air and not knowing where I was going. And then finally we were on our way from Big Sur where there's no internet service or like no cell service at all. At like, I don't know, 2 p.m. we're hitting the highway and all of a sudden we get this barrage of texts about essentially me having to rush. I rushed home two days later. It was very strange. What's been your favorite feedback about the album so far? I love when people comment on the lyrics. <laughs> as, as a songwriter, you know, I spend the most time on lyrics. So when people want to talk about their interpretations, especially when they're so thoughtful. I mean, I've had some people say very thoughtful things of, of where songs take them. And the fact that that can happen is, is wonderful. You retweeted something about um, the pressure to be productive right now and using time wisely, given the worldwide situation is a little nuts. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, my friend Chanel tweeted that and I just thought it was a nice reminder because we as Americans live in a culture that doesn't really value sleep, first of all. And maybe this isn't as much the case as it used to be, but you know, people like to brag about not sleeping and now we're in this state of forced rest. I do have a very competitive personality on some levels and I had a record that just came out and I want it to be active and doing something, but there's millions, billions of people processing what is happening in this very moment. And so there's a part of me that just feels like I need to step back. I mean, it's very humbling to know whatever I have to complain about. There are people that have it. Um, I can't even imagine how bad. I, I have shelter, I have food. Um, I'm, I'm healthy, knock on, you know, wood. This is wood.